Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fighter Red episode 27. In the last episode we defeated Sabrina the Teenage Witch and got the Marsh Badge, our sixth badge out of eight. So we are cruising towards the end of this game, sort of. Uh, now you'll notice that I put Topher out of the party, that is because I am going to now use Fly. Now you have two ways of getting here to Cinnabar Island, the place we've never been. You could, of course, go from Fuchsia City and go all the way through here and through the Seafoam Islands, I believe. I'm pretty sure you can go this route. Um, Seafoam Islands might actually block you, if I'm not totally mistaken. Uh, so, I always go, which this is the way I suggest because it's much shorter, is to go fly to Pallet Town and surf from Pallet Town directly south. We could say hello to our mother while we're here, but I don't want to say hi right now. I'm just, I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to, I don't want to have to, have to sit there and pretend to be interested in her, in her, her day. Uh, I just don't care. I'm a Pokemon master mom. Please don't yell at me. All right, so let's talk about the new Pokemon that we can find on this route. And the first of which is a Tangela. So Tangela is an interesting Pokemon. It is a pure grass type Pokemon. It's pretty much the only pure grass type Pokemon in this generation of the game, or at least in the first generation of the game. Technically, this is generation three. Now, its stats are actually pretty significant with a base 115 defense stat and a special attack of 100. However, its special defense being just 40 makes it not a good Pokemon. You breathe on this thing with a fire attack and it will just straight up die. Uh, it's not very good in that regard. Any poison type, it has a ton of weaknesses. Ice, an ice type move hitting this thing. I can't really recommend getting a Tangela, unless like for some reason you really enjoy it. Uh, if you were playing the original Red and Blue though, I would definitely recommend it. Also, interestingly enough, in the Pokemon Red and Blue beta, Tangela was actually known as Medusa uh, with a Z. So Medusa, but a Z instead of an S. All right, Tangela was added to the Pokedex. Blue plant vines cloak the Pokemon's identity in a tangled mass. It entangles anything that gets too close. Give a nickname to the ta captured ta Tangela? Nah, that's all right. Uh, Tangela is a grass type, obviously, as I just went over in the bio. I don't know why I bothered to tell you that. All right, so we're going to continue on uh, and surf. Now, I'm going to be using a repel because I don't totally care about the Pokemon that you can find while surfing because, of course, it's just really tentacool. Um... Uh, you know what? I actually don't think that I own a tentacle yet, so we'll do we'll do that. Oh, very important. If you have an electric type or a grass type, go ahead and uh, and switch that out right now because there's going to be a lot of trainers that we're going to deal with. In fact, you know what? I think it'd be best if we just sped through this route so that I could tackle all of the water type trainers that we're going to be battling here. All right, let's uh, let's do it, future Cory. Now, the only Pokemon that you'll find while surfing in this route is number 72 in the Pokedex, that's Tentacool. It's a water poison type Pokemon, and when you catch it in Tentacool, it has a base special defense of 100, which is huge for a uninvolved Pokemon. It's huge. However, when it evolves, it becomes Tentacruel with a base speed stat of 100, which is super fast, and a 120 special defense. This thing is going to be able to shrug off attacks and hit relatively hard with an 80 base special attack and that speed. You're going to be outspeeding other opponents and you're going to be walling them. This is a wonderful, wonderful stalling type Pokemon that I highly recommend. And it's interesting that it does have a water poison type, meaning it picks up some weaknesses to things that aren't technically great. Uh, it picks up weaknesses to psychic moves and ground type moves. In fact, because of its such low 65 base defense, any ground type attack is probably going to ruin your day as a Tentacruel. But if you don't have a water type yet or a poison type and you want one, I, I highly recommend picking up a Tentacruel, even though they're so uh, abundant in this area. So with the Pokemon that we can find in this area out of the way, let's focus on the actual speed through. This is going to be a real short one. This route isn't very big. This guy has six Magikarps. Can we talk about that for a second? Six Magikarps. But we were able to take him down no problem with Chu, who of course is a wonderful electric type to have in this area. She will outspeed everything, or he will outspeed everything. He'll be able to take everything down no problemo. Uh, you're going to see that I made a mistake right here. A Stormy and a uh, Seedra that I'm going to accidentally give a ton of levels to our Spiro with, because I didn't realize that Spiro was in my second slot. So we're going to bring out Bruce, and Bruce is going to be able to take him down, no problem. We can take down this guy who just has a Cedra, uh, a Cedra and a Tentacruel, I'm sorry about that. 
and he gave us $132. Like, that's it. We've been getting thousands. He gave us that much. This is this guy has a uh, shelter and a cloister. Now, unfortunately, we're out of Thunderbolt, so we're just going to go ahead and use all of those. And uh, I'm right now, I'm currently looking for items to see if there's anything in this area that we can possibly grab. Uh, and I'm going to run all the way back to... Uh, I'm going to use Spiro to fly. We're actually going to go to Viridian, use the Pokemon Center, and heal up. The only reason that I really need to heal is because I need Thunderbolt back on my Raichu. Uh, I didn't technically have to do that because, as you're going to see, uh, we didn't really have that much stuff. So right here, I'm just going to throw an Ultra Ball and just catch Tentacool so that we can actually add him to our Pokedex because we didn't actually do that yet. Again, highly recommend picking up a Tentacool if you don't have one yet. And we are going to be able to take down this guy that had a level 37 Starmie uh, very, very easily. Now, uh, I don't believe I found any items, actually, with the item finder. So keep that in mind as, as you're watching. You don't need to look for items because they aren't here. Uh, I did miss this trainer right here, so I went back and fought him. He just had a Seeking and a Golding, a Goldeen. Uh, not a huge problem right here. He's going to have a Staryu and I believe a War Turtle. Yes, this is the first War Turtle that we fought. And there we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you, future Cory. Um, thank you for doing that real quick. That was nice of you. So we find ourselves here on Cinnabar Island. Now you can talk to people if you want. Cinnabar Jim's Blaine is quite the odd fellow. He's lived on the island since way before the lab was built. This is the uh, Cinnabar Island, the fiery town of burning desire. Right here is the Pokemon Mansion, uh, which has a bunch of different Pokemon that I won't get into yet because we won't actually be doing this dungeon just yet. Uh, and right here, you can try to get into the gym, but the door is going to be locked and you can't actually get into it, which is too bad, so sad. Right here, scientists conduct, ex conduct experiments in the burned out building, you know, the one they call the Pokemon Mansion. Right here is the Pokemon Lab. We can come in here and talk to these, these fine fellows. We study Pokemon extensively every day. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Uh, there's no items that uh, we can find here. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this picture is actually Mr. Fuji? Yeah, it is. It's Dr. Fuji. Look at that. Uh, the lab's founder, interestingly enough. Uh, I don't think there's any items at all in here, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Now, this is an important place because there's a few things that we can do here. The first is that we can come talk to this guy right here, who says, I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. Want to trade one for my seal? No. And right here, we can talk to this guy who says, I'm important doctor. I am important doctor. Yes, very much so, indeed. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time I study. You, have you a fossil for me? Yes, we are going to give him the old amber. Oh, that is old amber it is. It is a fossil of Aerodactyl, a Pokemon that is already uh, extinct. My resurrection sh machine will make that Pokemon live again. So you hurry and give me that, and we will hand over the thing. It will take a little time. You go for a little while. Okay. Now, this is actually pretty easy to do. Now, we can come talk to the computers, uh, but it's not really going to be anything worth mentioning. Uh, but we can go into the other rooms here. This is actually super simple and super quick to actually get. So, I'll teach you a nifty move. Teach it to a Pokemon and watch its fun. It's called Metronome. Does it strike your fancy? We've already seen Metronome, uh, so we won't actually be teaching that to anybody. Right here is an Amber Pipe. Interesting. Uh, Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds of Pokemon. Well, that's actually not entirely true anymore, sir. As of even this game, that's not true anymore. Can evolve it to five in this game. All right, so we can come into this room. Hello there, do you happen to have a Raichu? Do you agree to trade one for my Electrode? Absolutely freaking lootly not. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric... Hey, us too, dude. Us too, in case you don't remember. Hi, do you have a Venonat? Want to trade one for my Tangela? Uh, we could easily do that, actually, if you want a Tangela on your team, which I don't know why you would uh, in this game. You don't have access to his evolution Tangrowth, so there's real, really no point in actually doing that. Uh, okay, so we can go into the Pokemon Mart and see if they have anything extra or new for us in here. We can talk to this guy who says, it never hurts to have extra items. Uh, this person says, don't they have X attack? I like it because it raises the attack stat. And you're pretty much just going to be able to get some Ultra Balls and whatnot in here. And some Max Repels, stuff like that. Uh, nothing that I really need right now. Alright, so we are going to go into the Pokemon Center. If we go in here, 
We can go ahead and talk to this. Do you have lots of friends? Linking up with the usual friends is fun, of course. But how about visiting the union room every so often? Who knows? You may end up making new friends. Uh, the union room is is a way to play various things. Uh, he just tells us that we can cancel evolution. We already knew that. And I came to visit the Cinnabar Gym, but the door is locked tight. There should be a key for it somewhere. Could it be in that burned out old mansion? Yes, it could. Yes, it could. All right, let's go ahead and restore our Pokemon to full health. All right, cool, we did that. Uh, now, I would say that, so here's the problem. Let's go back and do this real quick. We can go in here, and then I can I can cover the Pokemon bio for Aerodactyl, who is just what, such a cool-ass Pokemon. All right, so I believe that we can pick it up now. You late, where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was Aerodactyl, like I think. And we will receive the Aerodactyl. We will not give it a name. Aerodactyl was transferred to Bill's PC. It was placed in box number three. Now we can go ahead and talk to this guy again. I am important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time I study. You, have you a fossil for me? And we will give him the Helix fossil. It is a fossil of Omanyte, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make it live again. All right, so, that's pretty interesting, so we're gonna go for a little walk. Now, I believe, if I'm not totally mistaken, uh, all you have to do is really leave the building, come back and talk to him, and uh, and and you will be able to receive your Pokemon. Uh, but what I like to do is just go into, go as far as I can, go into the Pokemon Center, walk back, just to like make sure that it works, and then go through, and then we can go get our Omanyte. I will go over the bio for Aerodactyl, um, we already went over the bio for Omanyte and uh, Kabuto that you could have gotten. Your fossil is back to life. It's Omanyte, like I think. Do you want to give a nickname? No! Omanyte was transferred. It was placed in box three. So let's go ahead and look at those two Pokemon real quick. Uh, even though you're going to be able to... You've already seen Omanyte. You've already seen him. All right, let's, let's talk about Aerodactyl. So Aerodactyl is an interesting typing in that it's a rock and it is, it is a rock flying type, which is insane. It has massive attack stat and a massive speed stat. However, it starts at level five in this game because of the fossil mechanic. But if you don't have a flying type and you really want this Pokemon, I highly, highly recommend getting Aerodactyl. This thing will sweep through entire teams. It learns some really great moves, it hits incredibly hard, it gets stab on flying and rock type attacks which are super aggressive and usually end up being quite powerful. If you don't have a flying type, I highly, highly, highly recommend picking up Aerodactyl. It will take a little while to level up, it really will. But if you throw it with an experience share, it will catch up fairly quickly considering that my Pokemon are only around level 40 and you can probably start demolishing teams if your Aerodactyl is like five levels lower than the enemy team you're facing. So it is it is reasonably quick to level up. And if you've been collecting all of the rare candies like I have, and that means I have nine so far, you're able to boost him at least nine levels that quickly. I would say that Aerodactyl is definitely worth it. All right, so with that said, uh, let's go ahead and actually just look at Aerodactyl in game because that's that's fun. Uh, and this is going to be a shorter episode because I don't want to po tackle the Pokemon Mansion right now. So we are going to go ahead and just, uh, let's move Pokemon. Um, okay. So, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl level 5. Let's look at its summary. Now, you want either an adamant or a jolly nature Aerodactyl for sure. Rock flying, of course. And it starts with rock head, so it will prevent recoil damage, obviously. Uh, and it only starts with wing attack, but wing attack is still a fairly decent move. And we have aerial ace, so we could easily teach an aerial ace. Unfortunately, I don't really have a place for Aerodactyl on my team, but if I did, I would. I would use it. Omanyte. Omanyte is a calm nature, not terrible, uh, and it has shell armor, which blocks critical hits, and it's, uh, you can look at its stats right there and see that it's not terrible, uh, and it knows constrict and withdraw as soon as it starts. So, not terrible, not terrible. Um, if you want an Omanyte on your team, well, welcome to Cinnabar, you now get it. It's just so late in the game to be to have those Pokemon. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we, oh, the door's locked. Uh, we are indeed going to head right here into the Pokemon Mansion and receive the key so that we can get our seventh badge from the Cinnabar City Gym. Now, it's worth mentioning that there's a lot of fire types 
So Poseidon's going to be getting a lot of action. Thank you all very much for watching. Leave a comment below telling me if you guys ended up picking a fossil type Pokemon and if you have ever used Aerodactyl in any of your playthroughs of Pokemon, uh, any of the classic, any game really, if you've used Aerodactyl on your team. I used to use Aerodactyl competitively with Rockhead, uh, Takedown, and like a bunch of other like recoil based moves, Double Edge, I believe. Uh, and just what a wonderful, wonderful Pokemon. All right, thank you all very much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Uh, this guy's got, I don't even know how many damn Magikarps. I think six, six or seven Magikarps. He has, he has six. I don't know why I said seven. There is no possible way he could have seven. That, that Starmie and Hor uh, uh, Seedra alone there and we were able to fight a king uh a tentacruel oh my god i'm messing up all the names right now i keep wanting to say kingdra which does not exist yet but we were able to take them down no problem it's worth mentioning that uh cloister is a fire type uh, i mean uh fire <clears throat> wow i'm just gonna read